Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome to Product Review. With this video, I'm starting a new series in this channel titled Tips and Tricks for iOS. As the name suggests, I'll be demonstrating and explaining how to do certain tasks in iOS which are either directly not possible or there is a workaround. In this first video, I'm going to demonstrate how to export PDFs from iBooks app to other apps. So this is my iPad Pro 12.9. And I open iBooks and this is the last PDF that I had opened. And it's based on data page systems. If I want to export this file, the only option that I've always got through the export option is mail and print. And this more is totally useless. It gives me the same option. This more is completely useless. In fact, in the case of iOS 11, even the mail option wasn't there. It got added only recently. And I was wondering that upgrades are generally meant to add more options, not delete existing options. But in iOS 11, it wasn't so. And the mail option only got added just now. So what if you want to export this particular file into say Notability, or perhaps you want to export into other apps like Note Plus or Note Shelf or other apps which are meant for taking notes. And out of those apps, Notability is a remarkable application to take notes because that is the only app in which you can import a PDF, select a part of the PDF, copy it and paste it in your notes that you're creating for yourself. So what if I want to export the PDF from iBooks to let's say Notability? Now, the only way around this in the current option is mail yourself the PDF using the mail option and then open the mail in the mail app, open the attachment in the mail app and then use the export button in the mail app and then open it in Notability. Now, depending on the size of the PDF, it will take some time to upload in the attachment and that much amount of time probably it would take even to download it. But there is a simple workaround. And this is it. Ensure that the Notes app is available in the dock. So this is the dock. And in case it is not available, in case the Notes app is somewhere here, just press it and drag it and add it to dock. Now open iBooks and make sure that the iBooks is in the list kind of view. And now swipe up to get the dock. Press and hold the Notes app and drag it to one of the sides of the iBooks and you will get a split view. Adjust the divider as you want. Now in the Notes app, open a new Notes by hitting the last icon here on top. So I get a new Notes. Now press and hold the PDF in the iBooks and drag it to Notes and you'll automatically see a plus in a green. That means it is going to get added. Leave it. Depending on the size of the PDF, it will get added now. So now you have the particular PDF in the Notes app. Now you don't need the iBooks anymore. And if you want to see the entire PDF, you just have to double tap this. Right now, since the PDF is big enough, it will take some time to open it. But you don't need to open it. You just have to use the export button here. And now you see all the options. Every app which can open the PDF is listed here. So all you have to do is copy to Notability, let's say. Notability will open, create a new note. And as you can see, all the pages are there. And just say import. And it is going to import the entire PDF into Notability. As you can see, here it is. So this is a very simple workaround for transporting PDFs from iBooks to any other app in the iPad. Now, if you have an iPad Pro or the 2018 iPad, I'm sure you also must be having a pencil, an Apple Pencil. And if you're having an Apple Pencil, Notability is one of the very good apps. And remember, this video is not being sponsored by anyone. So that being the workaround and what I cannot understand is that both iBooks and the Apple native Notes app, both are created by Apple. But you can export PDFs from Notes app to any other app, but not from iBooks. 
And I really can't understand why that happened. Perhaps Apple knows. Or in fact, maybe even they don't know. So that's the end of this video. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please do hit the thumbs up button. Go and visit other videos of my channel. Have a look at them. And if you find them interesting and useful, do subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to hit the bell icon along with it to get notifications of any new video posted in this channel. With that, this is Kalyan Kumar signing off. Have a great day. Goodbye. And thank you for watching. Thank you.